What's up everyone? Welcome back to this week's YouTube video. If you are new here, I post every single Thursday. But today's video is going to be explaining Airbnb arbitrage, how much it cost, how to start and what the profits look like. Let's get started. What is Airbnb arbitrage? A lot of times people think you have to own property in order to do Airbnb, but the answer is no. And this is the beautiful thing about arbitrage. You rent a property from either the landlord or a property management company, so like apartments, you sign a lease, and then you can list this rental property on third party booking sites like Airbnb, VRBO, whatever is left after your rent is paid and your expenses are due is profit. This is 100% legal. There's a contract between both parties agreeing. They know exactly what you're gonna be doing with the property. Why Airbnb arbitrage over owning property? It's not necessarily, I only wanna do arbitrage I don't wanna own. It is arbitrage is a very beginner friendly business model. You use other people's properties and you use other people's money, AKA the bank, to do this whole entire business. So the goal is to start Airbnb arbitrage. And since it is such a great cash flow business, to use this cash flow to fund purchasing real estate. I feel like owning real estate is the end goal for literally everyone. That is really how you create that generational wealth. And that's my goal. So the upfront expenses are pretty minimal. The only things you really need is one, an LLC. There's two ways you could do this. You can either go directly through the IRS, which will save you a lot of money, but it's a little bit more confusing. Or two, you can use third parties like LegalZoom or Inkfile. And they basically streamline the whole process for you, but it does cost a pretty penny. You can expect to pay anywhere between like 150 to 300 dollars typically they have like three different tiers that you can purchase offering different things i personally have done both besides your llc the only thing you need money for is your deposits and application fees you can always negotiate security deposits and application fees but if you can't negotiate it you will need cash to pay for those majority of the time they do not accept credit cards either like a money order or like literally cash but you will use your credit to fund and furnish every single property you have. That leads me into the next question, business funding. All 18 of my Airbnbs, I've done the same business model over and over again. Nothing has changed from my first three. I use 0% APR credit cards for 12 months. The reason this is like the secret sauce is because one, I'm not using my money, I'm using the bank's money. The second reason why this is great is because it's zero interest for 12 months. That means I have 12 months to pay off this credit card. But depending on the size, the location, the market grade, will depend how much you're gonna be spending on that credit card for furnishing. My first three Airbnbs were C listings, one bed, one bath apartments, and I spent about 5K on each of them. I came out of pocket $800 for security deposits, and then I put 15K on a 0% APR credit card for 12 months. And within three months, I broke even and paid off all of that furniture. I wasn't paying it off with my money. I was paying it off with the money from my Airbnbs. Taking a loan from the bank with 0% interest, building a business, once you pay off that 15K, which shouldn't take you any more between like three to six months, the rest is profit. Obviously you have expenses and your rent. Like this business is literally profit for life. Initial cost. This varies depending on the size, the location, market grade. On average, a one bedroom, one bath apartment, I would say could be anywhere between five to seven K. First three were five K. My most recent one bedroom, one bath were closer to that seven K mark. Also inflation, but I would say between five to seven K for a one bed, one bath apartment. I do have four townhomes, which are three beds, two and a half baths, and those were closer to the 12 K rate. A little bit more expensive. I don't think 12 K is really that bad. If you hire movers, furniture builders, that will also have to be out of pocket. You have to pay them cash. You can't usually pay them with a credit card, but you can totally do it yourself. My first three Airbnbs, I did 100% myself. I didn't spend any money because I didn't have the money. You do not need it. It's not a necessity. It's an option. Monthly expenses, 14 apartments and four townhomes. On average, my rents vary between 1,600 and 2,200. Every single month I pay about 40k in rent my biggest expense outside of rent obviously would be my cleaning team i do str i have a lot of cleans um, each unit is being turned over basically multiple times a week the cleaning fees are my biggest expense but they deserve it because they do great i'll put up exactly how much i paid them here the next monthly expense would be restock so shampoo conditioner toilet paper paper towels these come and go at different times every single month i'm ordering something it's not always for every single unit 
Um, it could be for one or two or it could be for 10, but I do spend some sort of money on restock every single month. And last but not least, obviously utilities. These vary depending on the units as well. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Profit. On average, I am profiting about 40K. I will put up this month's revenue here on the screen. You can do the math. I net about 40%, um, which is great. I'm super happy with it. How to start. All you're gonna do is gonna go on Zillow and you're gonna start pitching landlords and apartment complexes. It's gonna take some time to narrow down your pitch, but you will learn it as you go. Do not be discouraged. You will get the hang of it. See what has a good response rate, see what doesn't have such a great response rate and take it from there. When you're doing your outreach, make sure you ask if one, they allow corporate leasing and two, if they allow Airbnb, VRBO and short-term housing. If the answer is no, sometimes there can be some convincing to be done. Then if not, you move on to the next. While you are doing your outreach, I want you to work on your business credit. This is something you cannot get around. And since it probably will take you a decent amount of time to get your first yes, this gives you enough time to start building that business credit. That way, when you do get a yes, it is in good standing and you will have no problem getting approved. If you guys want me to make a video about business credit, comment down below business credit and I will be sure to make a video in the near future going over all things business credit. It is a really big topic, it's something you can't get around and it does take time to build. It's not as hard as people make it out to be. I'll take you through my processes, how I use it, how I leverage it and how you can too. That wraps up this week's video. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, my social media will be linked in the description description. My Airbnb takeoff and co-host takeoff will be linked. I look forward to talking to you guys next Thursday. Bye!